Hi, geometry students. We're going to start chapter four, and we're going to start out with triangles, classifying triangles. Um, the objectives for this lesson is to identify and classify triangles by angles, like your angle measures, and by their side measures. So let's um, look at our first example here. So you need to write these down in your packets and look them over and make sure you know how to identify acute triangles, equal angular triangles, obtuse triangles, and right triangles. So pause and write these down in your packets. So now let's look at these two triangles and see if we can identify them based on their angles. So I want you to pause and then write down what you think these triangles are based on their angles. So the first one we notice, they have it has three acute angles, so it's an acute triangle. And number two has a right angle here, 90 degrees, so this is going to be a right triangle. Notice I have a menio pad here, so my handwriting is much better. I'm really excited about that. Now you need to pause and write these down in your packet. This is the classification of the triangles based on their sides. Okay, so this is based on sides. So go ahead and pause and write these down in your packet. So based on what we have in our packet, the three types of triangles, um, an isosceles means that we have two sides are the same. So if you notice right here, we have two sides that are the same. So can we find the angles, or the sides rather, um, when we have a variable? Well, since we know that these two sides are congruent, we can set them equal to each other. So we have 4x plus 1 equals 5x plus 1 half. Plus, I'm going to erase that there. So we can go ahead and solve for x here. Um, we're going to, I'm going to subtract 4 over from both sides and subtract, um, oh, I wrote that down wrong. It's a negative or minus 0.5. So I'm going to add 0.5 to both sides here. So now it looks like we have 1.5 or 1 and a half equals 1x or x equals 1.5. But is that what the question is asking? It's asking for the measure of the sides. So we need to go ahead and plug 1.5 back in so if we have 4 times 1.5 plus 1, this is AC right here. AC is going to equal 4 times 1.5 plus 1 is going to be 7. And AB, we can take 9 times 1.5 minus 1, and we are going to end up with 12.5. Now, do we need to find BC again? We don't have to because we already know that AC and BC are the same, or CB equals 7. So our, a, our side me measures are 7 and 7 and 12.5. The next example, um, you're going to notice that there is a way to submit your answer to me and that's kind of like your entrance ticket. So that, this is an easier way for me to um, see that you watch the video. So I want you to do this problem and submit your answer to the link below on my website. And um, we will go over this one first thing in class. And let me know if you have any questions. You can also comment and email me if you need to but I need you to get this done before class starts tomorrow. All right, thanks guys. Have a good night.